Hey everyone, uh, I've had a few people ask me how I do my in-game overlay in videos and I figured I might as well do a video on how to how to do it. So um, all you need is this app called MSI Afterburner and I have directed people to this app but it's not as simple as it seems like you can't just install the app and then you'll have an overlay you actually have to set it up so um, just Google MSI Afterburner the second link will get you to the download quickest and it's also the version I'm using so scroll down and you see all the releases 4.3.0 is the latest one and download and install that and when you launch the program it'll have this little airplane icon in your tray and I'm not sure if Riva Tuner, which is where you set up the overlay uh, boots alongside it but we'll just take a look at it here so that's the app uh, it's an overclocking app for graphics cards but you don't have to use those features you can just use the overlay although I have got a custom fan profile going so to use the overlay you just go into settings so this button here go to monitoring and you can see here there's an option there's a there's a bunch of different um, monitoring graphs you can use but you just like go through them all so say you want GPU usage um, I'm not sure if they'll all be checked but you pretty much just check the ones you want and every single entry will be a separate line in your overlay so the overlay looks like this so this is my desktop and you can see the overlay here every entry unless you name them the same uh, will come up under a different line so if you want it to be consolidated you could put all the graphics card related stuff as the name of your graphics card GTX 1060 as you can see I've got by default it'll be like this uh, GPU usage and there won't that this override group name box won't be checked so what that looks like is if I click OK you can see here it's just got GPU use that's the GPU usage and it's just saying 7% but I don't want it I don't want everything under different um, titles so see GPU temperature normally it'll just be GPU temperature so click OK you see it change here oh, it's both under GPU so what I do is I click override these two here and I label them as by GTX 1060 and you'll see it'll just all go under the one title so you just go through what you want and figure out how you want to order it like I could have all my 8 core CPU usage under one heading if I wanted and it'll just it'll just stretch out across the screen like that but you know I think it's a bit easier to read this way and you can just go through this frame rate frame time and it'll also show what you're using so see this is recording under DirectX 11 apparently so yeah just go through all that figure it set it up how you want you can set your RAM separately page file and use override group name for your own custom titles and then once you've done that also make sure show in on-screen displays ticked so you'll see here these ones are ticked off so you could have them in monitor there's monitoring here in the actual app but what you want is you want to show it in the display so if I click power so I'm adding the power in which is for GPU power and then I tick it and click show it on screen display and click OK it's popped up at the bottom 32 percent is what how much power it's using so I don't want that I'm just untick it like that so uh, GPU fan speed is a bit easier to read and here it's at zero percent because mine doesn't ramp up until 50 degrees so just go through here and you'll actually see it says in OSD when you take this showing on screen display button so all the stuff I'm showing is in OSD okay and now separate to that you'll also want to tweak the color and the size of the font which is where this little app at the bottom that installs alongside afterburner Reva Tuner statistics server comes in and um, you just launch it it'll probably be on vector 2d or something by default which looks like this it's pretty average looking 
no, actually 3D is not even working. Um, but you want it under raster 3D, which lets you set the font and customize it. So you can leave all this stuff or you can copy my settings. I can't remember if I really changed any of these. I think by default, it's just the rendering mode that's different. And so set it, choose your font. So you can see here, it'll, it'll change the font to whatever I put it on. And then on-screen display shadow. This can cause performance loss in some systems, but it basically just puts the dark lines around the, the numbers and the lettering. So if I check that off, you can see it becomes a little bit harder to read. So I leave it on, but it's just a preference. And um, then there's the color palette, which will let you change colors. So just like that. And I'm just using our OBS Studio to record my desktop, so that's why you're seeing like a mirror effect in the background, infinity effect. So yeah, I'll just leave that on gold. And then you can change the size. So you can you can do this with the game running. Like you can have whatever game you're doing running, and Alt Tab out, adjust the size to get it exactly how you want. And then go back into the game, and and it'll be different. I think I have it on about there. Uh, I just leave that off. And this is to change the location on the screen. So bottom left, bottom right. And uh, if you got like a console running in your game, like Counter-Strike or something, you can move the whole thing down to give room for the console. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't remember changing anything else in the menus, but you can see what I've got it on just in case there is something different to how it is by default. And yeah, so that's how I get my overlay going. And um, I might do another video on OBS Studio, but if you've got Shadow Play, just use it, because it's so much more simple. But um, yeah, my Shadow Play stopped working like December 5 and I don't know why. It just I installed the driver updates and I think there was a Windows 10 update. And then next thing you know, uh, Share or Shadow Play, it's called Share now, turned itself off and I couldn't use it. So I've tried everything. I've like done DDU, full uninstall, safe mode uninstall, reinstall, older drivers, and nothing works. So Shadow Play has just killed itself on my system. Um, so I'm using OBS. And if you're interested in how to set OBS up, like it also gets a bit technical. you got to set it up per game. It's not just like a full screen recorder. If I started up a... Um, full screen game now, it would pretty much be a black screen uh, unless you set it up properly. So if you're interested in that, um, just leave a comment and let me know. And um, otherwise, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and you know how to set up an overlay now. And um, if you like the video, click like and maybe subscribe if you're interested. But you know, I just do gameplay videos, so normally I won't be doing stuff like this. So if you're expecting this every day, then um, don't bother subscribing. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. See ya.